my joy. Torn on the blunt, now I'm soaring. Feeling important. Fuck it, one day I'll be torn. People been swarming. Let to on wreck. Hey, what's good, y'all? Back again with another banger. Yes, sir. It's your boy Jake Too Curly in the Cut, or should I say Chef Jay Cook? You already know the vibes. All right, y'all. So today is gonna be a cooking video. If you don't know, I'm a master chef. I was featured on Gordon Ramsay's like, what was that called, Chef? I don't know. It was some like chef show. But if you want to see that, if I'm not feeling good, I won't put the link. Man, I ain't do no cooking in ever my life. But bruh, what is on the menu today is the most delicious food in my opinion. Because honestly, I'm not a big fish lover. I like ceviche here and there, but fish by itself, I don't know. It's just too like fishy, I guess. But other than that, favorite fishes are tuna and salmon. You guys don't know. And you want a birthday gift for me, bro? Buy me a big old salmon and I'll love you forever. But speaking of salmon, we don't even have any here at NASA apartment. So we're gonna be getting some salmon. Little grocery shopping haul. We're gonna get some salmon, any ingredients that we need pretty much. And honestly, I'm ready. It's gonna be the most delicious salmon and greens and rice that you'll ever see in your life. I wish there was a way for me to make the food and send it to you, but it'll be rotten by then. All right, guys, we got our keys. We got our wallet and we're ready to go shopping. Yes, sir. Thank y'all for allowing me to buy groceries, pay for my gas, everything, bro. I appreciate it. Please watch the ads if you don't already. Jake to curly in the car, yes sir, y'all. Alright, when I went down those stairs on my belly, bro, that thing hurt. I'm never doing that again. I'm not trying to do no more cool YouTube stuff, bro. That thing hurt. Alright, right now I'm on my way to Sprouts because, bro, I have no groceries at home. I have a little bit, but we need a big old fillet of salmon. I'm trying to cook the whole thing and eat it for the whole week, bro. Because salmon, it's like that thing, that one food that you eat and you love and there's no leftovers. So we're gonna get a whole bunch of it and make a lot for the whole week, y'all. Sprouts, here we come! All right, y'all, we just put up, and this is what we're looking for. All right, y'all, there's some salmon right here. Which one are we gonna get? Oh, yeah. All right, y'all, he's weighing it. Yes, sir. The total price is $28. All right, y'all, we got item number one. Now let's go look for the rest. All right, y'all, we're gonna grab some minced garlic. Woo! It's about to give it hella flavor. Some bite-sized potatoes. Can't say no to this. Some lemons. They're 69 cents each, so we're about to get, like, five. All right, y'all, so for the vegetables, we're gonna need some asparagus and green bean, along with the potatoes. Oh my god, it's really dark outside, so the quality isn't as good, but actually, I'm super hungry, so I bought like crackers and some chicken salad, so I'm gonna grab on that real quick, just to like pre-game, you already know. Alright y'all, what's good? We are back in the kitchen, it's your boy Jake Too Curly in the kitchen, yes sir, aka Jake Cook. Alright, we're gonna give you a little haul of what we have right now. So we have some asparagus, all the vegetables are going in the air fryer, by the way. We have some green beans, some really small potatoes, bro, these are the best part, this and the salmon. A1. And then we also got the salmon right here. Honestly, I didn't think I was gonna get a big piece like this, but it's huge. First, I'm gonna start off by washing all the vegetables. I don't wanna get no extra protein and eat some bugs. That's nasty, bruh. I'm about to work out while I cook. Bruh. What's up, a dance battle? Pump the jam, pump it up. Why your feet are stumping? And the Honestly, jam I'm, a, I'm a good dancer, bro. Charlie D'Amelio, she can't beat this. All right, I'm putting all my vegetables in here. All the asparagus, now we're gonna wash this down. Oh, also, before we start, I gotta preheat the oven. I forgot. All right, we're preheating the oven to 375. Now that I preheated the oven, actually, I need to boil some water because we're gonna make some white rice as well. We got two cups of water in there because we're gonna only use one cup of rice. It's only me and Nat eating, so it's not too much. We also have the washed vegetables. Y'all, tell me these asparagus on the grumptious lumptious. All right, now I'm washing these green beans real quick. These green beans are washed and ready to go. Last but not least, we need to wash these potatoes, bruh. I'm telling y'all, this recipe is so easy. All right, now that all the veggies are washed, we're gonna start on this salmon. We're gonna start preparing it. I'm just gonna dampen it so it's not too wet and all the seasons stick on this. All right, before we begin, as you can tell, this cutting board is not big enough, bruh. Look at this. This cutting board is not it. It's all good though. We gotta use what we got. Alright, we're gonna cut these up into little fillets. Honestly, I'm not good at cutting into fillets, but we're gonna see what we can do. Alright, cutting this bad boy right down the middle. I'm gonna make some pretty big fillets, guys, because this salmon is gonna be so bomb. I'm not gonna wanna go back to get more. I'm just gonna wanna eat all at once. Voila. Y'all, take a look at this salmon fillet. Woo! Fillet mignon. If any of you out there know how to cook, bro, just let me know what I'm doing wrong so I can do it better in the future. Don't let me fail, bro. I'm just trying to make it big out here by cooking. One day I'll cook in front of Gordon Ramsay. The food may not come out good, but it'll come out quick. That's all you gotta know. All right, y'all, we made about eight fillets with this, so not too shabby. All right, I'm gonna wash these off with water and lemon, so give me one second. All right, I was gonna wash the salmon, but I forgot about the rice, so here it is. This is what we're doing. The water just came to a boil already, and I just put a cup of rice in. Now we're just gonna let this sit and boil again. Y'all, I know rice is like the easiest thing to make along with 
with eggs, but I still suck at making them. All right, y'all, we got our baking pan that we're gonna be using to bake this salmon, and it's a pretty decent size, but not everything will fit, so we're not to either save some for later or, or stay up late at night and grub. I couldn't find any parchment paper. That's what I usually would use, but we gotta make this work. All right, now we got the fillets of every fish. We got the fillets, we're just gonna pat dry them real quick, and then lay them down. All right, y'all, we're just putting the fillets pretty close to each other. Dude, these are gonna be bomb. All right, so only four of them fit, so we're gonna leave it at that. We're not gonna overfill this because they need their own space. We're gonna leave these like this for now, and we're gonna begin preparing our vegetable or fruit, whatever cherry tomatoes are. Whatever they identify as, actually. All right, y'all, so we got our tomatoes. These are little cherry tomatoes, so it's not gonna be too, like, tart, I guess. They'll be sweet and yummy to eat. We're just gonna be cutting into each one of them. The homie Thea right here wants a tomato. She's right next to me, y'all. <laughs> you want a tomato? I'm gonna give her a tomato, see what she does. Come here. Hey, she liked it. <laughs> Thea's not picky, but Ellie is the pickiest dog I've ever met in my life. Oh, I miss my boy Chato. Now that I'm thinking about it, Chato was picky, bro. He wouldn't eat anything unless it was like actual food. You give Chato a piece of lettuce and he wouldn't eat it. Honestly, if you give me a piece of lettuce, I wouldn't eat it either, so I don't blame you. We got our chopped tomatoes. All right, next up, we have our lemon. Y'all, the lemon is gonna be a key factor in this recipe, trust. We are gonna cut this lemon to thin slices and plate it around like the baking tray of the salmon. Y'all, I just wanna get some Doritos right now and put some tapatio with this in there, bro, oh my. Smackers. All right, right here, we got our chopped lemons and cherry tomatoes. All right, so now we're gonna get about a stick of butter. Nah, like half a stick of butter. We're gonna need it to be melted because that's what we're gonna be putting on the salmon, like rubbing it on there and getting all those juicy flavors. Honestly, I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just trying to be smart. But from the recipe that I watched on YouTube, they use some butter, so. We're gonna be using some salted butter. We're gonna melt this bad boy. Yes, sir. All right, we're gonna melt this much. Plop, plop, plop. Suavemente, besame. Te quiero sentir tus labios, besándome otra vez. Suave, besame otra vez. Suave, yo quiero sentir tus labios, besándome otra vez. Okay, copyright it because it sounds the same. Alright, all the butter is all melted. I'm gonna mix it up a little more. This is how it's looking. It's looking like butter. Yes, sir. About to mix this bad boy up. I right, remember the lemon, I told you how it was important. I don't know if I told you it was important. If I didn't, it's important. We're gonna put a little bit of lemon into this butter, melted butter. Don't let the seeds get in there though, because they're not. I said don't let the seeds get in there and all the seeds go in there. All right, just add a little bit of lemon like that. Just half a lemon is fine. And then mix it up. All right, let's bring the show back onto the salmon. Got the salmon fillets ready. Now we're gonna put this butter onto the salmon, each one of them, and just like marinate it in there. The more the merrier, like Santa Claus would say. My boy Santa ate all them Christmas cookies, oh boy, got a pot belly. Ain't hey, no shame to the game. All right, let's bring our vegetables into play. Honestly, I don't even know. Are cherry tomatoes vegetables or fruits? All right, now it's time for the lemons. Put them around the dish. You can even put it on there if you want, but to each their own. I'm gonna put this lemon on the salmon right here, like blah. All right, so the other half of the salmon that we haven't used yet, we can squeeze it on each salmon just a little bit, not too much, and then just around the bowl or plate, whatever it's called. And then that minced garlic that we got, bro, we cannot forget this. This is a key factor in today's Hunger Games. I'm gonna smell like garlic up in here. Ugh. Hate garlic. All right, so with the garlic, we're just gonna put it on top of the salmon, each salmon, just a little bit. Give it a little more extra flavor. Bro, it's gonna be busting, I'm telling you. But not too much, don't overpower the salmon. If you like garlic like that, then do it. But if not, then leave it. Honestly, I don't like garlic, but it tastes good. I don't like the smell of it. Uh-oh, my toxic is calling me. I right, sorry, y'all. I was rudely interrupted by my girlfriend, by my wonderful, amazing girlfriend. But this is what we got so far. All right, so we got the salmon. I added just a little bit of parsley and around that yellow stuff is just butter. We're gonna add this into the oven right now. Oh yeah. All right, so we're gonna leave that in there for like about 15 to 20 minutes. Let me watch the YouTube video again real quick just to know how long I leave it in there for. All right, I was wrong. You're supposed to bake it for 12 to 15 minutes. So, so that's what we're gonna bake it for. In the meantime, let's work on our vegetables. We're gonna start off with our potatoes. Life hack, if you have an air fryer, this is a life hack, trust. So all you're gonna do is get your potatoes. So your potatoes are in there like that. And then you're gonna use some extra meat olive oil. You don't have to get the virgin. It could be any oil they use, but, but I'm gonna use extra meat olive oil. This is just a spray, so we're just gonna do a couple sprays. Like that. And then we're gonna grab our garlic salt and then just sprinkle some on there like that. Damn, that's a lot. We're just gonna mix this up. Hopefully I didn't over season this, bro. All right, just put them in the air fryer for 375 degrees, but I'm only gonna leave it in for like 12 to 15 minutes. All right, we can't forget the other vegetables that we had. So we got some green beans and some asparagus. We're gonna put it in now. Both of them are in there. We're gonna season this with a little bit of oil, salt, and pepper. All right, y'all, the salmon is done. We're just gonna take a quick look at it. Y'all, that look bomb. It smells so good, too. Let's take it out before it dries up and overcook. Look at the juices of everything, y'all. Dang, that looks bomb. The tomatoes. Jeez. All right, let's check on this rice now. The rice looks good. Let's check on these potatoes. Oh my, these potatoes look good. These veggies look good, damn. But what about me? 
Why don't I look good? Hey, Loki, I'm about to put some butter in and hop in the oven to look good, bro. About to taste good. I apologize to all the parents watching this. I'm sorry, I did not mean it like that. Oh yeah, all the food is ready. Now let's begin plating this thing, bro. I'm so hungry. Oh my, y'all, this is the final result. Hold up, we gotta get you deep and down in here. Y'all, look at these vegetables. Make our way over to this silly salmon. Then these bomb potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, ham, frog, hog, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes. Nah, but look at this lemon. Oh my, I just can't wait to eat. I really hope it's as good as it looks, if not even better, bro. Let's see. All right, y'all. First thing we're gonna try is the salmon with the rice. I'm excited. Let's see. All right, we got a piece of the salmon with the rice right here. Bro, holy guacamole. The salmon melted in my mouth. Oh my. Bro, 10 out of 10 salmon. Now let's go on the green beans. These green beans were seasoned with just uh, pepper, actually. Pepper and then just this oil. The green beans are whack. I did overcook them, but let's go on to this asparagus. Bro, asparagus is really seasoned well. Like, I put lemon on top of it after I put it out of the air fryer, but still, bust them. Alright, the moment of truth for the potatoes. Mmm. These are really good. I'm gonna start doing this from now on because it's so soft in the middle and it's so seasoned on the outside, so it's perfect. Damn, when did I become a foodie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jackie Curly on this beat, you know I'm about to become a foodie. I be pulling girls with this big old booty. You already know we're sipping on water. H2O. I'm just silly like my flow. Woo. Bro, J2 rapper in the cut. All right, let me dig into this because, oh, hold on, I didn't, I didn't finish, my bad. For my manners. All right, we're gonna try these tomatoes real quick. Bussin', bruh. Mmm. All right, let me dig in. Oh my, I can't just stop, I can't end the video yet. Let me dig into this. I'll see you guys right now. All right, y'all, it is time for me to go to sleep, but before I take a nap and catch them Z's, we gotta get this salmon out the oven and put it away because if this thing goes bad, bro, I'm losing my mind. All right, y'all, we got the salmon in here. We gotta put it in some glass bowls so it could, like, be good for tomorrow when I eat it. Oh my, it looks so bomb. I'm gonna put these tomatoes and stuff on it, too, just to give it more flavor. We got the salmon packed up and everything, throwing this wrap away. And we have the dishwasher loaded with all the dirty dishes. The soap's already in there. Now it's just time to wash this baby. Oh, yeah. Y'all, I hate washing dishes, and honestly, the dishwasher's a lifesaver. I'm glad I don't gotta wash them, bro. Well, the Hands, I do have to wash them by hand, but other than that, we're chilling. But anyways, rate my food from the look, one through 10. Obviously, you guys couldn't rate it from like taste because y'all couldn't taste it. But yeah, rate it one through 10 in the comments. I'm gonna be actually seeing what most of you guys say. I'm gonna be in the comments. If anyone says it's a one, bro, I'm gonna have my dogs attack you for real. No, I'm just kidding. But that's gonna wrap it up for today's video, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. We're almost at 300K, let's go. With all that being said, thank you for watching today's Summer Miss video. Hope you guys enjoyed. More videos coming. We have another video coming coming tomorrow. Stay tuned, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and comment on future ideas you guys want to see me do on my channel. And appreciate all of you guys for watching and sticking around to the end. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!